The Financial Supervisory Commission on Wednesday morning convened a meeting with eight state-invested banks and five privately owned banks. During the meeting, the agency instructed banks to prioritize loans for first-time home buyers. They're also asked to build a dedicated web page so that home buyers can check if they can secure a mortgage. It's honestly flabbergasting. For the first time in so many years, banks have refused to loan us a single cent. Closing a housing deal should be a joyous occasion, but Yan Bozhi, a real estate columnist, could not secure a mortgage for the new place he's moving into at the end of the year. Six banks have denied his application, saying they've all maxed out on mortgage allowances. I've already been to five, six banks. None will approve my mortgage. The first three banks have relations with the developer. The other three I've found on my own. None said yes. 39-year-old Mr. Yen had been looking to upgrade from his first property, just as banks have started tightening mortgage approvals, so he couldn't get one. To make it easier for people to get a mortgage, on Wednesday, the Financial Supervisory Commission convened with eight state-invested banks and five privately-owned banks to work out how to solve the mortgaging issue. <laughs> We're asking banks to build a specialized section for mortgages on their websites so people can look up which banks still have allowances and book a consultation. The FSC is asking banks to prioritize financing first time home buyers, people who do not yet own a private property, and approved mortgage applicants. Banks must also have mortgaging control mechanisms in place. It should be quite helpful for first time homeowners. For many first-time homeowners, as long as they have their applications filed right now, they shouldn't have a problem getting a mortgage. Meanwhile, banks reportedly suggested that loans for herbal renewal projects should be capped too. Banks said this should free up some funds for homeowners.